Hello everybody. I hope you're well today. This would be a continuing debate uh, on the pre-trib rapture with a Christian truth hammer. Thank you for your response, Christian truth hammer. Uh, I forgive you your slander and your uh, remarks the first ten minutes. You roasted me pretty good. I uh, just wonder, curious, uh, is it uh, the way of a loving Christian to rebuke a fellow Christian by calling them a liar when they are mistaken? Would it not be more loving for someone to say, Oh brother, I think you are mistaken, rather than say, I think you're not being honest with us. Oh, gosh, harsh words. Bring a lot of people to Christ, do you, with such words? I forgive you. I do not uh, insult easily. Now, all of the verses you went through, you're, you're saying you're dividing the word of truth, and you got me on that one, so I don't have a photographic memory. It does say that. But you're not dividing it, you're cutting and pasting it to make it say something, and then inferring that it says something else. And yes, the Jacob's thing, the prophecy is not completely fulfilled. He was right there. It's all the nations haven't come to an end yet. That's the end time. That's the last trumpet. Let's go to Matthew. Chapter 24. I'm not going to read the whole chapter. I suggest you do read the whole chapter. And it talks in here, and we go through here. And they ask him all this stuff. He says, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in the name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye not troubled of all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. We all know this. We all know this verse. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Is that what the rapture is? Uh, is that the pre-trib rapture? And then shall many of many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound in love of many shall wax cold, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in the world for the witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Now, here you divide the kingdom of God. And you say, the kingdom, preach the gospel of the kingdom is different than preaching. The gospel of Christ, what Christ taught us to teach. This is what Christ is teaching us to teach. It's Christ's words. You're dividing Christ's words to mean two different things. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of a Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place, whoever readeth, let him understand. And yes, we both understand what that abomination is. It's inside us what you put between you and God. Yeah, I've got a cell phone. Okay. Yeah. Let's go to Matthew 13, 24. And another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a man which soweth good seed in his field. But while men slept, 
his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit that appeared, the tares also. So the servant of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst thou not sow good seed in the field from whence then hath these tares? He said unto them, An enemy hath done this. The servant said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, at least while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of the harvest I will say to the reaper, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into the barn. Let's read that again. Gather ye together first the tares. Gather ye together first the tares. Hmm. Okay. Let's go over here to verse 36 on the same chapter. Then Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house. And his disciples came unto him, saying, Declare unto us the parable of the tares of the field. He answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the Son of Man. That is him. Referring to himself there. The field is the world where we live. Home. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. Those wonderful Christians that believe in the blood of Christ. He is our Redeemer. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. And we all know who they are. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. And the reapers are the angels. And therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be at the end of the world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all the things that offend, and them which do iniquity. Oh, if you get taken up, you might not like it. You might not be taken up somewhere if you don't want to go. And shall be cast them into the furnace of fire, they shall be welling and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of the of their father who hath ears let him hear pre-trib rapture out the window with Christ's own words either Christ is a liar or there is no pre-trib rapture and uh, after days of the tribulation that Christ comes to save the body of the fellowship and um, we all make mistakes I own up to mine but I don't expect you to after all go there, that would be judgmental. Much love to all of you. Have a good day.